And a look behind the curtain here. Final preparations for the challenge ahead. Hoping to come out of the gates strong. The view high above our broadcast location tonight, the Staples Center in Los Angeles. Hi, everyone. Greetings from 2K Sports. Get ready for some NBA action. This is Kevin Harlan, and beside me, Greg Anthony and Steve Smith. David Aldridge joins us on the sideline. And now the opening lineup for Boston. We've got Garnett, Allen out there with Rajon Rondo. Then it's Pierce, and it's Perkins in at the five, roaming the paint. And for Los Angeles... They've got Fisher. Pau Gasol is out there with Andrew Bynum. And there's Bryant. And it's Ariza in at the three slot. And Greg, the outcome tonight could come down to the big men up front. And versatility will be a key. The, the front court that can be physical, but also pass it and stretch the floor, I think will be the ones that end up on top. And so off the tip, it's Boston. Now here's Rondo. Pass to Pierce. From past the arc. And it's good coming on oh, the assist there. by Rajon Rondo. And Pierce squaring up immediately after getting the pass. Fisher against Rondo. Pass to Gasol. Over Garnett. The shot's good from Gasol. Oh, oh, talented, driven. Ooh. He puts constant pressure on your defense. Fisher against Ronda. And he drives in. Banked in off the glass. Uh, Gotta respect the attacking mindset of Rondo. Always looking to go right to the cup. Now Fisher. To the middle. Looks for Bynum. Gets it to him. Over Rondo. And he tries off the glass, but it's no good. Allen for three. And again, Boston with the triple. Rondo is out there to distribute the ball. He is a master at finding the open man. Fisher against Rondo. And that one's good from Fisher. And then once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Wow, that's a defensive breakdown. Can't do that against good scores. Outside, Pierce. The Lakers with the rebound. Even though he missed it, this is the exact play your offense is designed to produce. Here's a reason. And it's out of bounds. The Lakers able to retain possession. That ball. Now about two minutes gone here in the first quarter. Here's Kobe. Lays it in without an inch of room around him. Man, how about that high release Brian has? Really helps him inside when the D there is attempting to smother him. Pierce attacking. Lays it up and banks it in. Pierce has got five. Good way to start this game. You want to get him rolling as early as possible. And we know once he gets in the rhythm, he's a really tough guy to stop. Now here's Bryant. Over Allen. They get it back. Gasol, no good. Austin leading by four. Here's Rondo. His shot is good, making him a perfect two for two from the floor really admire the fact that Rondo is not afraid to go down there in the paint from time to time. Right side, Kobe. It's good for his second oh, mate. He's right. made two or three oh, so far. Two. Allowing any room to operate, you know he's going to be aggressive. Here's Rondo. Find him with the block. And so it looks like the Celtics will retain possession here. Let's take another look at the staunch defense during that mobile one block. 
And an early swap like that can really set the tone. Now the shooters will be feeling his presence. Here's Allen. Perkins kicks to Garnett. Just five on the clock. Allen outside. Here's Pierce. Good D by Ariza. Lakers trail by four. Outside, Kobe. Dishes to Fisher. Back to Bryant. Puts up a three. The rebound by the Celtics. It's Allen on the wing. High arcing shot, and it's good on the way in. Allen's got five points so far. Oh, this is the kind of start they were hoping for. Fisher with the ball. Reza passes to Gasol. He dishes it to Kobe. And there's the pass to Bynum. Seven-foot shot. And Pierce pulls it down. Austin leading by six. Perkins. It's good on the putback. Oh, a nice tip in to salvage the points from that missed shot. Yeah, and those second chance points can add up. Fisher against Rondo. Bryant's shot is off. And so Allen will bring it up for the Celtics. He feeds it to Garnett. Tipped away. Here's Perkins, and block. That one goes careening off the glass. They get it back. And here comes Ariza, leading the fast break. Passes it to Gasol. The shot's good. How tall with a terrific skill set. Gasol remains one of our better scorers inside. Fisher against Ronda. Outside Pierce. Kicks to Garnett. Shot clock at five. Gasol with it. Now Garnett defender. Inside. Here's Ariza. And Ariza with the stop. A rangy 6-8. Ariza finishing with force. Garnett outside. Pass to Pierce. Perkins inside. Ariza covering. Count that one. Perkins. Perkins got his second bucket of the game to go. They're getting him shots in his spots. That's understanding your personnel. Fisher against Rondo. Right side, Kobe. Shot is good. Scores his third basket in six tries. Shooting 50%. Austin leading by four. And here's Rondo. Pierce has doubled. Fisher against Rondo. To the inside. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Local leader always trying to psych his guys up and get into the head of the opponent. At First the trip to the free throw ball. line for him in this one. Kevin Garnett. Free throw good from Kevin Garnett.
good on the second, so he makes them both. Boy, he's got a great stroke from the line. That's not something we can say about all the league's big guys. Left side, Kobe. Ariza outside. To the paint. Nice ball movement here by the Lakers. Just five to shoot. Here's Fisher. Garnett with the block. Now the feed to Allen. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. And it's Kevin seven points Garnett. for Ray Allen. And a look at how the hustle game has been going for the Celtics. They're doing a great job deep and slowly down low. They've already racked up a lot of blocks. They've established an intimidation factor early in this one. Yeah, the other thing, though, is they have attacked Man. in the open floor. Yo. They're definitely getting a lot of easy ones that way. So, timeout called here. The first for Los Angeles. Lamar Odom has checked in for Andrew Bynum. And a change for the Celtics. Glenn Davis has checked in for Perkins. Bryant in the post. He's against Allen. And it's Bryant missing. Austin laden by eight. Pierce dishes to Garnett. Outside for Davis. Pass to Allen. Pocket six. There's the three. That one doesn't go. So the Lakers will take it the other way. Goes up from the top of the key. Nice spin off the left rim and in. Bryant's got eight. And it takes a Herculean defensive effort to rattle Bryant. He sinks contested shots at will. How about his focus? And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. The Celtics have had two chances at the line already, making them both. And just to mention, a season ago, they were very comfortable at the line, hitting about 78% of their free throws. Free throw, no good. You know, Rondo takes great pleasure at slicing and dicing up the defense. One of the best passers in the game. You can't make the second free throw either. Missing both. Lakers trail by six. Down low. The kick out to Odom. Now the pass to Bryant. Bryant can't get that one to fall. Rondo against Cope. And Rondo gets it to go on the assist by Pierce. He has six. And for the Lakers, they're shooting at around 44% in the early goings here. Inside. Here's Odom, and he buries that one, trailing the rim on the way down. Celtics leading by six. Here's Rondo. He's got six. Garnett finds Rondo. And here's Pierce. Lots of room. No good for the fifth time from the floor this game. He's made two shots. They've been sensational on the backboard to start this game. To the paint, here's Gasol. And that comes off the assist by Derek Fisher. And now it's just a four-point Boston lead. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. Here's against Ariza. Outside, Pierce. Passes to Allen. Five to shoot. Trying to find Davis. He's got it now. A rebound by Gasol. You know, they don't score on that shot, but they're going to be happy with those kinds of possessions. Odom against Davis. Odom gets to Bryant. Over Allen. And the foul called on Paul Gasol. 
That's ball. foul number two for him. Check he's checked in for the Lakers. Then for the Celtics, Leon Pose checked in for Garnett. And Allen subbed in for Pierce. Celtics leading by four. That's tipped and stolen by Fisher. Pass to Kobe. And there's a minute 45 left in the first quarter. Well, now made half of those 10 shots in the game. That's his fifth basket. Bryant's gone 5 of 10 from the floor. Rondo against Fisher. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Lamar Odom. Lamar Odom. That's foul number two for him. He was too aggressive. That's already his second foul. We haven't even gotten out of the first quarter. One thirty left to play in the first. Rondo with it. Guarded now by Lamar Odom. Feeds to Poe. Gasol with the block. And for his career among active players, Al Gasol top three in block shots. Now Fisher. Pass to Gasol. Over Rondo. Gasol is done. And the ball's tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. And so it's the Lakers with it. Let's it fly. They get the rebound. Bryant. That evens the score. Kobe Bryant. Bryant's got 12. And I need to see some more assertiveness out of these defenders. Now here's Rondo. Six points for him. Allen for three. Rebound the Lakers. Gasol's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Allen against Walton. Knocked away. Out of bounds. Boston Don't takes possession. Ball. Twenty-nine seconds left in the first quarter of the game. Rondo against Kobe. Allen outside. Kicks it out to Allen. The Celtics working the ball around now. Trying to end the drought. Allen shot is off. Walton with the ball. From deep three-point range, and the last second attempt does not go in for him. Tie game in Los Angeles. Stay with And if you're just tuning in, it's been a pretty even game through the first quarter. And taking a look at the Lakers' performance here, what have they been doing or not doing in the game? Well, credit their anticipation skills on the defensive end. They forced a number of turnovers. And you can't cause those mistakes unless you're willing to gamble. So far, they've rolled the dice, and it's paid off. Here's Farmar. And a chance here presented by Gatorade to see who's on the floor. All fueled up and ready to go for the start of the second quarter. On the floor for Boston. We've got Pierce. Perkins is out there with Garnett. Then there's Allen. And it's House in at the point. And the shot's good from Bynum. Nice job getting inside for the layup. Got the deep thinking jump shot. Gave a little pump fake. And then off to the races. Garnett up top. The pass to Pierce. That one's good. Just oh, his third make. Brings him to three for eight in this game. And Pierce always been great at just getting into the heart of the defense. Feels real comfortable when he's in attack mode around the rim. Now here's Brown. Pierce with the steal. At the elbow, it's Allen. And we know Tony Allen isn't afraid of physical contact. In fact, he's quite aggressive in seeking it out. The Celtics shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game.
Pedro Good Allen. And Steve, the differences between the regular season and playoff basketball. Break them down for us. You know, Kevin, it's a higher level of intensity, and execution is a must. It's also hard to prepare for the playoffs until you've experienced it. That's also good, so he hits both free throws. Tony Allen has carved out a nice role for himself in this league. A big-time defender who brings a ton of energy each and every possession. Pass to Farmer. Shoots the three. A rebound by the Celtics. Pierce has got his fourth rebound in this one. It's Perkins atop the key. Elbow shot. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. It's on Andrew Bynum. Austin shooting their seventh and eighth attempts at the foul line tonight. First free throw is good. And they have yet to miss a shot from the line here this quarter. He's off on the second. So it's Formar who brings up the ball for the Lakers. It's a three-point game. Okay, well, let's check in with David Aldridge, who's reporting from the sideline. Thank you, Kevin. The Celtics made the Eastern Conference Finals three times over four seasons, but last season, injuries and COVID protocols knocked them down a peg. Ownership and management are patiently staying the course. And with the young star talent, this team still has room to improve from within. Guys, back to you. Well, their upside in a lot of people's view remains. David, thanks. Here's Farmar following the bucket by the Celtics. Pass to Bynum. He kicks it to Farmar. Back to Bynum. And a great assist by Farmar as that one goes in. Bynum's got it all tied up now for the Lakers. Allen outside. Pass to Pierce. Here is House. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. I mean, even from over here, you can see that one pretty clearly. And this is his second trip to the line tonight. He's off on the first. Well, pr probably a little draft in the arena tonight. He's the last guy you expect to miss the mark by that much. Absolutely. So neither attempt will fall that time for him. And really, as solid as he's been at the line, I had already chalked those points up. Goes to show you, though, don't take anything for granted. Now, here's Ariza. Farmar passes to Bynum. It's stolen by Allen. To the middle, here's Garnett. A rebound by the Lakers. I mean, that can happen to anyone, but it's ugly every time it does. Yes, getting a little ahead of himself on that play. That's the pass you want. Orchestrating the offense, creating for others. So it's the Celtics now. Following the bucket by the Lakers. Right side, Pierce. Shooting foul. As the whistle blows, he'll shoot two free throws. Paul Pierce keeps building on his legendary career. A That's champion. We know he's a clutch shooter. Ball and more Pierce. importantly, a bona fide leader. 
And a closer look here at the hustle stance for the Lakers. They're doing a great job defensively down low. They've already racked up at a lot of blocks. They've established an intimidation factor early in this one. And guys, add to that the fact that they have really done a great job of attacking the ball handler with their defensive pressure and forcing turnovers. Pretty throw good, Paul Pierce. So he hits both. And that's the norm for him. He's pretty much automatic when he's at the line. The Lakers have gotten four of their first five shots to fall in the second quarter. Outstanding shooting. Farmar passes to Brock. Now Farmar. The tray. The rebound by Garnett. Here in the second quarter, just under three and a half minutes played. Here's Allen. Some solid defense from Brown. The Lakers shooting 53% from the floor. They're locked in. Kicks it to Farmer. Back to Brown. The pass to Bynum. Tries from 10. The shot is good off the backboard. Bynum's got the lead up to two now for the Lakers. For Boston, they've gone two of four shooting the ball here in the second. Ariza against Pierce. Passes it to House. Drives to the hoop. Over in the corner, Allen. Boston, no good that time either. For Los Angeles, they've gone five of seven from the field here in the second. Brown feeling out of it. Ariza no luck. Well, the Celtics shooting at a decent 44% clip here. Pierce against Walton. Pierce, oh, good. Man. Pierce has got the game tied up here for the Celtics. I love seeing Pierce get a little fancy with the dribble. The defense was not expecting that. Here's Brown. Good. And Farmar gets the assist. Farmar's got three assists in the game. The Celtics have gone 50% from the floor in the second quarter, three of six. Allen outside. Some solid defense from Brown. And it's Farmall with the ball for Los Angeles. Raise of the bounce pass. Count the bucket coming off a perfectly placed assist. Now it's a four-point Los Angeles lead. House the pass to Perkins. Loose, Bynum with the steal. And oh, here we go. Farmer's got it. The fast break chance. I mean, I like the call. I thought the defense was just there. And the Lakers making a change here. Odin's checked in. Austin on D. Trailing by four. Ariza kicks to Brown. And pushing it up, here's Boston. Allen leading the charge over Brown. And too long on the shot. For Los Angeles, they've gone 7 for 10 here in the second quarter. They'd like to keep up that nice pace. Pass to Farmo. Down to 5 on the shot clock. Releases. The shot comes out, and the Celtics going the other way now. You know what, though? They keep calling his number despite the difficult quarter he's had. House the pass to Garnett. He kicks to House. Takes a three. A three-pointer is right on target. Defensively, you have to tight up on him or suffer the consequences. His second foul in as many quarters. We'll see if he backs off or Checking stays aggressive. Celtics. Celtics making a switch here. Rondo's checked in. Yeah. 
Here's Farmar. He's covered by Rondo. Pass to Bynum. Knocks it loose. It's stolen by Garnett. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. It's on Andrew Bynum. The Celtics have made a little more than half their free throws today. 7 12. it up and this next one could give them the lead now the free throw is good now leading by one Here's Farmar, and the Lakers call time here. In addition to going over the game plan and making whatever necessary adjustments have to be made, Greg, this time out also the time for players to get rehydrated or hydrate for the first time with some Gatorade. Plenty of basketball still to be played here, and they have to get recharged. That's a great point. Without proper hydration, a player can completely run out of gas down the stretch of a, of a game, and that's something that none of these guys can afford to have happen. If you're going to battle all the way to the finish, you have got to be hydrated. Bynum trying to break loose, and it's out of bounds. Well, Last touch well. by Allen. Austin making some changes. Leon Pose checked in for Perkins. Davis comes in for Kevin Garnett. And it's Allen in for Pierce. Davis against Odom. Shot clock at six. No good on that one. Davis with some nice D. The Celtics with the lead. It's Allen on the win. Reza covering. Davis surveying the floor. Here's Rondo. And the rebound goes to Odom. Lakers have gone 7 to 13 for the field since the start of the second. And easy two points on the lane. Odom's got his second basket. They're getting on a roll inside. Their last three field goals have come from the paint. There's the pass to Allen. Celtics passing it around. Here's Rondo. Back to Allen. Kicks it to Rondo. Shoots over Brown. No good off the back of the rim. The shot's there for him, and he's got to take it. I don't care if he doesn't convert. That's a shot he has to continue to take. Here's Farmar to the inside. Here's Bynum, and it's Bynum with the jam. Attacking the defense with the pass. Don't need to be a hero. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. To the middle. Here's Allen. Basket is Ray good. Allen. The assist from Rondo. Rondo. Rondo's got three assists now in this one. And so Brown will bring it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. Passes it to Farmar. They get a hand on it. From deep. Out of bounds, Boston, Boston takes possession. Substitution for your Lakers. Boston trailing. Outside Rondo, pass to Poe. He kicks to Allen. Allen. 
Six to shoot. Pulls up on the wing and off the front iron and in it goes. And the Celtics lead by one. Guys, no one team gaining control early on. Yeah, and you look at the lead changes. Six already. The shot by Bryant, no good. The Celtics have gone six of 13 so far from the field here in the second quarter. Rondo looking over the floor. Over Fisher. Second chance shot. Davis dishes to Poe. Allen kicks to Allen. Pass to Rondo. Tries again. Gasol with the rebound. Gasol's got six rebounds in the game. Ryan against Rondo. Ryan in the post. 12 points for him. And another field goal in his total. Make it 7 for 14, shooting 50%. Allen passes to Rondo. Allen the bounce pass. Down low. And he drops in the layup off the glass. And that's now six points for Allen. Coming off a scoreless first quarter, he's found a little rhythm here. Odom against Allen. Odom's shot. Good. Odom's got six points. Well, guys, this first half has been about as tightly contested as you could hope for. There have been a lot of lead changes. My goodness. Now here's Allen. He's got six. Back to Davis. Rebounded by the Lakers. You, you almost have to assume he's going to knock those down when he is that open. 27 seconds left in the first half of basketball. The pass to Vujicic. Off target with his three. It's a close game here in Los Angeles. Rondo against Fisher. From 13, and he gets the jumper to drop. Eight points for him. And Rondo with the tough contested jumper. Stay focused on that one. A three from Bryant, and the last shot before the buzzer is off. And that's it for the first half of action. What's been a very close game here? It's the Celtics leading by just one. Time now for the halftime break, with the third quarter soon to follow, right here on 2K Sports. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Boston had no problems getting going. They had the upper hand early, defense and offense clicking, opening up an 8-2 run after the tip. As the first quarter came to a close, they saw that early lead disappear. Tie game at the end of one. It was a back and forth battle throughout the second quarter, and now they find themselves on top by one at the half. And taking a look at the Celtics, Kenny, what did you see out there? They've been fierce at the defensive end, causing turnovers, coming up with key stops. That's the result of great communication and trust between teams. Hard to score on them when they're playing like this. And Shaq, what do you think about the Lakers? They were really efficient, great approach offensively. Their shot selection was first rate. They were always working hard to get good looks. That can't change in the second half. They need to be just as well organized as they have been so far. After a fairly even first couple of quarters, the second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams try to gain an edge. Kobe Bryant really making a difference. Well, we'll find out if they were able to find an, an answer for him over the break. He was scoring with ease in that first half. I think both sides probably adjusted a few things. The key for him is to bring the same level of energy over these last two quarters. 
And in that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during the half. They've got Kobe, Trevor Ariza out there at Pau Gasol. And it's Fisher. And it's Bynum in at the center. That's who's in the game for the Lakers. Now here's Kobe. Takes the 12-footer and hits. Kobe's got the first points in the second half here for Los Angeles. And not even three quarters out of the way. So many lead changes. The fans, guys, are getting their money's worth. Heck, I should have paid to watch this one. It's been a nail bite. Bryan against Pierce. Kicks to Perkins. Garnett outside. Nice ball movement by Boston. Here's Rondo. A rebound by Gasol. Gasol's got rebound number seven for him tonight. Ariza against Garnett. Outside Gasol. And stolen by Perkins. And for those of you turning in, we're about a minute into the second half. Find him against Rondo. Five on the clock. Tries it from the top of the key. Got a piece of it. Ariza outside. Now the dish to Fisher. Third quarter of basketball. About a minute and a half in. Got a piece of it. The Celtics shooting 43% from the floor. Fisher against Pierce. Passes it to Perkins. The kick out to Pierce. And that's out of bounds. Boston will return possession. We have got to see that sensational mobile one block again. And sharp instincts on D there. Just timing. When to rise up and swat that one away. Two minutes into the second half of play now. Just four to shoot. That's a big donut, folks, here. Start the second half. Four straight they've missed. Here's Bryant. Rebound, Boston. Perkins got four rebounds now tonight. Rondo passes to Pierce. Not quite two and a half minutes played here in the second half. Poked away. Oof, ugly start to the second half. They're still scoreless in their first five attempts. Right. And Kobe Ooh, throws Brian it down home. And, and Brian, just a superb athlete. Terrific at just imposing his will on the defense on that drive. And now we're three minutes into the third quarter of play. To stop the drought. No good there. Some solid to hear from Bynum. Los Angeles leading by three. And here's Fisher. Pass to a reason. Gasol against Garnett. Ring shot on the way. Gasol, no good. Celtics trail by three. Garnett outside. Outside Pierce. And it's Rondo in the corner. And to break that ice cold streak and that's two points on the way rondo's got 10 points and you gotta love the big bucket in the paint in this sort of a grind it out game fisher against rondo and fisher kicks the bynum Inside, here's Gasol. Bynum trying to break loose. And Paul Gasol, the bucket on the assist from Andrew Bynum. He has created some terrific opportunities for himself and really made the most of them. Rondo passes to Garnett. And here's Pierce, defended by Bryant. Bucket is good. 
He's got 13. Getting only one of five this quarter. He's in a little bit of a slump, but it looks like he's trying to shoot his way out of it. Right side, Kobe. Over Allen. And it's Kobe missing. And I was sure that was money on that one, but everyone has afforded an easy miss or two. Yes, let's look on the bright side. You got a great look. It's a play that you might want to go back to again. The Celtics have gone just 25% from the field here in the second half for two of eight. Rondo finds Pierce. Here he goes, and he uses the glass on the way. Pierce has got four points now in the quarter. As we approach the fourth quarter, still anyone's ballgame. Yeah, neither team able to create much of a cushion. To the paint, here's Gasol. Garnett grabs the board. For Boston, they've gone a lackluster three of nine from the field since halftime. Rondo against Fisher. Rondo gets the bucket. And now a three-point Celtic lead. Even with the hand in Rondo's face, he still knocked that one down. Fisher against Rondo. Left side, Kobe. With the fadeaway. And it's in there. Kobe. Kobe's got 20 points. In this period, they're feeding him, and he's feeling it. Rondo passes to Garnett. Now here's Allen from deep three-point range, and Bynum pulls it down. Bynum's got his sixth rebound on the night. Pass to Bryant. Over Perkins. They get it back. Boston shooting is leaving something to be desired. Just 36% here in the third quarter. Right side, Rondo. He kicks it to Pierce. And there's the try. That's good coming on the assist by Rajon Rondo. Pierce has got 17. And that's 10 straight points in the paint. The defense, nowhere to be found. On the wing, Kobe. And they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. And Bryant just plays without fear. In fact, he's constantly looking to score through the contact. All right, well, look at how the hustle game has been going for Boston. They've been playing such pesky defense. It's been very impressive, especially all the turnovers they've caused. Yeah, but they've also done a great job of playing in space, getting out in transition every opportunity. The Celtics have gone 5 of 12 from the field since the third quarter got underway. Pierce against Kobe. Here's Garnett. Again, the Celtics good for two. And when Garnett gets it that deep, the D is at his mercy. How about the extension when he's able to get up on that low block? Here's Bryant and the dunk Kobe by Kobe. Bryant. Oh, an aggressive move and fantastic finish. Trying to send a message with that slam, I think. Fisher against Rondo. Kobe with the steal. And now here comes Kobe, leading the break. And Kobe throws it down. And Bryant has always gotten credit for being a fierce defender, clogging and digging, jumping on those steals when they present themselves. So the Celtics call timeout their first. Kobe Bryant really making a difference here. You know, he's been a one-man wrecking crew down low. This consistent Man. scoring has dictated the pace of this game. We'll see if they decide to front him, bring a quick double, or maybe even both to try to slow him down. Leon Pose checked in for Kendrick Perkins. Here's Rondo. And he banks in the lane. Rondo's got it all tied up now for the Celtics. And the strength of Rondo finishing through contact. Now, Fisher. Ariza outside. Here's Kobe. Right on the bucket. Kobe Bryant's got 15 points here in the second half. Defensively, they've had no answer for him this period. And he continues to stay aggressive. Rondo passes to Allen. 
And the pass to Pierce. Over a reason. And it's good off oh, the bat. Good. Green man in. Pierce has got 19 points. What focus from the veteran Pierce. Nothing shakes this guy when he's going up with his jumper. Here's Fisher. Bynum trying to break loose. Great tee that time from Rondo. And it's Rondo with the ball for the Celtics. Pierce dishes to Rondo. Garnett kicks to Pierce. Six on the shot clock. Back to Garnett. Over Gasol. A rebound by the Lakers. Gasol's got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. Here's Kobe. Not wasting any time and taking the shot and knocking it down. And you see the ability to rise and fire from mid-range, even against that length. And you know what? There was probably a better matchup on the floor, but when it goes in, nobody complains. Now here's Allen. Nine points in the game so far. And it's Pierce in the corner. No good that time. Good D by Gasol. The Lakers in the lead. Bryant looking over the floor. Fisher, the pass to Bryant. Over Allen. Kobe, no good. The Celtics shooting here, about 46% for the game. For the lead, the putback controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. And you know we talk about it all the time, guys. Those second chance buckets, always the result of that extra effort. Los Angeles calls timeout. And coaches looking to seize every advantage, maximize every possession. Critical part of the game. You have to be flexible. You have to be able to adjust what you're doing. Now here's Odom. Six points for him. Here's Ariza. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. That's on Paul Pierce. And Ariza much improved as a free thrower over the course of his career. For Los Angeles, they have gone one for one making their previous attempt at the line. And team stats last season, 74% shooting. So some numbers that they can definitely improve upon. And the first one drops. That one falls, so he hits both of them. Austin trailing. And Pierce, here we go. Rejected by Gasol. Something that's kept this game close is the fact that the rebound stats for both teams are almost identical. Ariza against Pierce. Ariza with the bucket. Ariza's got the lead up to four now for the Lakers. And look at how the hustle game has been going for the Lakers. Contested shots and block shots. That's been their bread and butter defensively, giving up no easy looks. Yeah, but they've also done a great job of playing in space, getting out in transition every opportunity. Austin may get a switch here. Celtics trail by four. Here is House. 133 left in the third. And stolen by Ariza. Rebound by the Celtics. Now here's Pierce. 19 points in the game. Los Angeles now. Garnett kicks to House. Mm -hmm. 
Shot clock at six. Here's the pass to House. Let's it go from deep. No good on that one. And the Lakers will go the other way with it. Now Farmo. Fouled on the oh. shot. Picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. And giving up some inches inside, but That's makes up for it with an aggressive style. And that takes skill and the ability to make adjustments as you're going up. Celtics trail by seven. Here is House, and they call an illegal screen here. Beyond the leaning, you could see his feet more set on that screen. Easy call. So difficult to stay planted, especially with all the motion around you. Annoying turnover. Odom, the pass to Brown. Back to Odom. To the middle. Excellent D there from Allen. And so Allen will bring it up for the Celtics. Garnett outside. Over Odom. Kept alive by Boston. The Celtics working the ball around now. Farmar takes it away. And here comes the break. Outside Gasol. Ariza outside, fires the three. He can't get that one to fall. And so it's Los Angeles, bringing the quarter to a close with a seven-point lead. And let's go back to a terrific pass that we're calling tonight our State Farm assist of the game. And I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. Yeah, you also have the location of the pass. Puts it right where it needs to be, where his man can do something with it. And this is it. Glad to have you along for this fourth and final quarter. And a look at the five for the Celtics to start the fourth quarter. Allen is out there with Davis. That's Rajon Rondo. Then there's Leon Poe. And it's Allen in at the two guard. Allen shot is off. The defense there got away with a major lapse. Down low, pick off in midair. Dishes at the pole. Plays it up off the glass. Great job executing the offense. That pass on time and on point. Lakers leading by five. Now Farmer passes it to Bynum. He dishes it to Bujicic. No good from outside. Allen outside. Kicks it to Allen. To the inside. Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. And those plays can make a difference in a game like this. <laughs> well, you know it's going to fire up, Greg, everybody on that bench. This is a close-knit group. They feed off one another's energy. Love and that. what started it all, terrific anticipation on the defensive end. Most teams now are looking to play with pace. No better way to ignite the break than off a turnover. Here's Farmer, and he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And you know what? You allow a guy to get right to the rim like that, that's your only option. At the line for Los Angeles. He misses the free throw. Yeah, 
And he's good on the second. And they're drawing more whistles and working their way to the line here in the second half. Rondo with it. Pass to Allen. Lock at six. Rondo against Bynum. Bynum with the block. And the shot clock expires. 24 second violation. And, and you can tolerate gaffes like that sometimes, but in a close game, man, I tell you what, that really hurts. And we're around two minutes into the fourth quarter here. Here's Vujicic. Here's Kobe. And finish oh, off by Bryant. Oh, cool. I love seeing Bryant just get up and go for it. His leaping ability never ceases to impress. Outside, Davis. Allen outside. Back to Davis. Los Angeles foul. Just over two and a half minutes played now here in the final quarter of regulation. Here's Rondo. Find him with the block. And he recovers it. At the line for the Celtics, Tony Allen. And he makes the first. He hits one and misses one, each at the line. Lakers leading by three. Now Vujicic. Outside, Kobe. Shot clock at five. Goes up the baseline. That one a tad off to the right, but drops in four. Bryant's got four points now in the quarter. Celtics trail by five. Outside Rondo. Over Farmar. Again, the miss by the Celtics. You're not pretty. You just got to shake off a miss like that. Outside, Kobe. From 13. And Boston with the rebound. Rondo's got his seventh rebound here tonight. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Love Rondo down there on the block. Nice move to catch the D off guard. At the line for the Celtics, Rajon Rondo. That one misses. He hits the second from the line. That one miss was huge. He had a chance to turn this into a one possession game. 
Ryan against Allen. Bynum kicks to Kobe. Pass to Vujicic. Back to Bryant. Six to shoot. Sinks it from just inside the baseline. Bryant's got 37. Strong work for him at the offensive end, helping them to maintain that lead. And here's Rondo. He takes it in, hangs in midair, and converts on the double clutch layup. Rondo's got 11 in the second half. So it's Farmar who brings up the ball for Los Angeles. They lead by four. Right wing. Vujicic the pass to Bynum. Bynum is doubled. And a bit of a battle here for the ball. The official signals a jump ball here. And here is Los Angeles now. The pass to Kobe. Down to five on the shot clock. Bynum with it. Ho on him. Bynum, no good. Celtics trail by four. Rondo kicks to Allen. And the three off target. The Lakers have gone three of six in the field so far in the fourth quarter. Bryant passes to Vujicic. And here is Bynum. And it's Leon Bo with the foul. That's his first foul. So it's the Lakers now. Four-point game. Unloads from 13. And it's blocked. Allen surveying the D. He's on target from eight feet out. And now just a two-point Los Angeles lead. They are just killing them on the interior. It's stolen by Allen. And it's Rondo in the corner. Passes to Poe. He kicks it to Allen. To tie it up. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Kobe Bryant. Shooting for Boston, Tony Allen. Makes it, and the next one could tie it up. So both teams changing it up here. One drops. He ties it up. Fisher with the ball. It's Kobe Bryant on the wing. Can they get it? Ray Allen grabs the board. Allen's got his fifth rebound in this one. To take the lead. Fisher grabs the board. Well, he wants to shoot his way out of this cold spell, but the struggles continue. You know, to me, this is when you want to focus on creating for others. Give someone else a chance. It's called a teammate. For the Lakers, Lamar Odom. That free throw missing. Paul Pierce has checked in for Boston. Good 
good on the second free throw. Unfortunate that he missed one, but he still hit a crucial point there to help get his team the lead. Kobe with the steal. And here's the fast break. Bryant leading the way. The dish to Odom. And Pierce over to help. Ariza has the open look. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. You know what? They're winning, though, despite the fact that he has just been really hard. He muscles it in through the contact, and they call the foul. He's on his way to the free throw line. And they are amped up right now. I mean, after trailing for so long and then trimming that margin, finally they take the lead. Lakers trail. And the Lakers call time here. This game, great performance by Paul Pierce. Good decision to regather. Talk it over. Your main concern now is how to slow this guy down on the offensive end. And now we present our New Balance player of the game, Paul Pierce. And to me, the best part of his game has been the work he's done inside. I mean, slashing, driving the lane, attacking the basket at every chance. When he's had an opening, he's taken it. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin, during that last break, I heard the Lakers coach talk to his team. He told them to stick with it. He said, this game is right here, guys. This is our game to take. Precision, purpose, and poise. Kevin, we'll see if they can get it done. Thank you, David. Outside, Bryant, from deep. Garnett grabs the board. Garnett's got six rebounds here tonight. Right side, Pierce. And Paul Pierce with the slam. Really admire the smart play of Pierce, an efficient shooter who picks his spots well. Lakers trail by four. On the wing, Bryant. Over Allen. And that one off the Kobe. back of the rim and in. Kobe's got 39. Uh, and that was the right call. When, when you need a basket, go to the guys you trust the most. And it was great execution. Clutch effort all the way around. Here's Rondo. Allen trying to break free. Rondo, good. Rondo's got 21 in the game. Two of Rondo's greatest assets. Very strong for his size and very comfortable operating in the paint. Here's Bryant. A shot off that time. Now Boston takes it the other way. Rondo passes to Perkins. Rejected by Gasol. Inside. Here's Odom. Garnett grabs the board. Garnett's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Ray Allen is on the way. Connects from three-point range. And the Celtics lead by seven. Yeah, and this is Allen's game. One of the quickest releases we've ever seen. Amazing shooting off that pass. Right side, Kobe. Ariza trying to break loose. And there's Bryant. That's good on the assist by Odom. Taking things into his own hands this quarter. Trying to keep his team afloat. Pierce, the pass to Garnett. Back to Pierce. Played in with a nice touch oh, off the glass. Yes. Pierce has got 15 points here in the second half. How many times have we seen a possession well, pick that from them today? Time. Ending with a basket coming off a pretty pass. And the Lakers call time here. And they're committing an awful lot of fouls here. And not of the good variety. You don't want to give up easy layups. Sure, but it's been a nonstop parade to the foul line. Ryan against Allen. Gasol trying to free himself up. Bryant dishes to Odom. Garnett with the block. Outside Rondo. Driving the lane. Count the bucket. And he's got a free throw coming up as well. 
What precision from Rondo. Even when he gets knocked around, he keeps his focus and nails the shot. Falls for Rondo. Now here's Odom. Pass to Bryant. Dishes it to a reason. Rejected by Pierce. Allen against Bryant. Allen, that's good. Ray Allen. And now a 12 point Celtic lead. And how about Allen, able to control his body on these physical finishes. Terrific at keeping the balance as he's getting bumped by the defense. That's to Fisher. Outside Bryant. Nice passing here by Los Angeles. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting for the coaching. At the line for the Lakers... Kobe Bryant. Free throw, good, Bryant. Bryant hits them both. 143 left in the fourth quarter of this one. Pierce against Ariza. It's good. Smooth jumper from Pierce, a staple of his offensive game for so many years. Odom against Perkins. Outside Odo. The pass to Kobe. Left block shot on the way. That one drops for him. Kobe's got 45 points. Celtics leading by 10. Outside Rondo. Pass to Perkins. He dishes it to Pierce. Six on the shot clock. Launches it. Not going to go that time. And Los Angeles guys uh, shooting a paltry 33% in the fourth. Not a good showing for this offense. Here's Fisher. He feeds it to Gasol. Pass to Odom. Good. And the assist goes to Gasol. Odom's got it back down to single digits for Los Angeles. On offense, here are the Celtics. They've held a 12-point lead early. Odom against Garnett. Ball's knocked loose and stolen by Ariza. Kicks it to Fisher. And a miss there on the triple. Here's Rondo. So we see Boston get the win here. A solid win on the road for them. This building was dead silent by the time GA this one wound down. And that's what you want to do. Take the crowd out of it by crunch time. Don't give them any chance to lift their team up at the finish.